mean wallop himself and has a lot of boxing savvy to go with it. Foley wants a shot at the title and a good performance tonight could put him in line for it. This could be Foley's last big chance. We'll find out what he does with it shortly as George Chevallo meets Zora Foley on the Friday night fight of the week. Welcome to the Fight of the Week. I'm Don Dunphy, your ringside commentator at the Cleveland Arena. Zora Foley has been one of the most accomplished of heavyweights, but he's never seen the win the big one when it came along. He has won 65 of his 75 fights with seven losses and three draws. He has KO'd 36 and was stopped five times. Chevallo has won 25 with seven losses and two draws. He has KO'd 19 and has never been floored. At 6'1", Foley is an inch taller. At the commission weigh-in, Chevallo was 212, Foley 200. Now here's our good friend, Tommy Dwyer. Ladies and gentlemen, matchmaker Larry Atkins presents main event, 10 round heavyweight division. Under the direct supervision of the Cleveland Boxing Commission, David R. Chairman, Charlie Bethel, Harrison Dillard and Ali Down. Officials at the ringside, your timekeeper, Jimmy Lee, counting for the knockdown, Tom Grant. Your judges are Charlie Bill, Bill Thompson, referee Tony LeBrand. And now, ladies and gentlemen, main event, 10 rounds. Toronto, Canada, 212, wearing the black trunks, George Duvalo. Duvalo is three pounds heavier than he was for Alonji in November on the fight of the week. Arizona, 200 pounds, wearing the white trunks, Zora Foley. Foley has dropped off three and three quarter pounds from his last bout. To the boxer. You hold on. You both, both your gentlemen were before the Cleveland Boxing Commission this afternoon. You both received uh, regulations and uh, what we expect of you. I want to emphasize on each one of you that I'm here to make sure that those rules are not violated. If they are violated, it may cost you the, the fight. At one point, may cost you a fight. So I'd like to see a nice, clean fight, fight hard. And just listen to my commands, and I'm quite sure we won't have any trouble. Check it from up, buddy. Scoring here in Cleveland, the five-point must system, five points to the winner of a round, four or less to the loser. The mandatory eight count is in effect. However, there is no three knockdown rule, and a count does not continue at the bell if a man is floored. A man knocked out of the ring must be back in or be counted out by ten. Only the white trunks, Chivalo and Black. Up is uh, TV fights in which we've had them recently against Mike DeJohn and Tony Alonji. We know that uh, Chevallo is a brawler who likes to get in there and mix, and there is never a dull evening when George is in there. Foley is one of the best of heavyweights from a boxing standpoint. He has all the equipment, a good sharp left jab. He can shorten his punches or he can throw them long. On defense, you'll notice that uh, Foley keeps that right glove under his chin and tries to parry body blows with his right elbow. Both boys have good knockout records. Foley KOing 36 and Chevallo 19 in many less fights. Harrison Dillard, who was uh, introduced as a member of the Boxing Commission here, of course, was the all-time great American hurdler not too many years ago. Old Bones, they called him. Chavallo's uh, best chance, it would seem, would be to nail Foley against the ropes and hold him there. That's just like he's trying to do now, but Foley will have no part of it. what is known as a matchmaker's delight. Teddy Brenner has put together what we think will be a good one, a boxer against a brawler. 
Tony LaBranche, the referee. One minute to go in round one. The ten rounder at the Cleveland Arena. Those are hard jabs that Foley is putting home. That must have hurt. Ten seconds to go in round one. There's the bell. Round two here at the Cleveland Arena. George Chevallo, black trunks, Zora Foley in white. In 1963, Chevallo won five, four by a KO, and had the draw with Alonji. Foley won three, lost a decision to Ernie Terrell, and had a draw. On October 17th, he decisioned Billy Daniels in Montreal. Foley, by the way, is running in politics for local office out in Chandler, Arizona. Okay, you're like the Jab is a potent weapon, and so far, Chevallo has not been able to get past it. And of course, Chevallo can't take liberties with Foley's right hand, which is one of the best. Chevallo's best attack is on the inside. amateur champion of Canada when he was only 17. Price was professional champion in Canada. Okay, About a minute and 15 seconds left here in round two. here. Big time boxing coming back to Cleveland. round two and we come back to the corner with Zora Foley who was born in Dallas, Texas, May 27, 1932 and now lives in Chandler, Arizona. In the corner with him is trainer uh, Johnny Hart facing him uh, head on. Bill Swift is manager on the outside over the ropes and, and Danny Spud is facing him head on by the way and Johnny Hart is on the outside. That's the corner of Zora Foley from Chandler. On the other side of the ring, we've got George Cavallo, 
his trainer, Ted McWhorter, is uh, facing him right there. Luther Burgess is on the left-hand side, and his manager, Ed Trotter, is on the outside of the ropes behind him. Chevala was born in Toronto, September 12, 1937, and sort of commutes between Toronto and Detroit at the present time. George Chevalo coming out for action for round three in the black trunk. Laura Foley in the white. Chevalo going down deep in that crouch, bob and weave to get away from the jabs. are nice nut taps, these jabs by Foley. He's putting them in there hard. Chavallo digs the body hard as he holds Foley in his own corner. content to win the fight with a jab if he can, and it's a good jab, as we've told you. Chavalo's not been able to get by it to any great extent. seconds to go in round three. There's the bell. Coming up to round four here in the Cleveland Arena, Tony LaBranche, the referee out in the center, Zora Foley, white trunks, George Chevallo in black. Boys are heavyweight. Chivala weighing 212, Foley 200. Story of the bout so far has been Foley's left jab and Chivalo's inability to get past it. Round four of a 10 rounder. Branch gets them apart. Find left, the is. Good left hook to the head and the body by 
Cavallo. Finally got in there. Round four coming to a close. Tomorrow's right, best punch, as you can see, is his left hook. He doesn't use the right too often, and there's the bell. Coming up to round five at the Cleveland Arena. George Chevallo, black trunks, Zora Foley in white, referee Tony LeBranch. It's a 10-rounder. For a brief moment or two in round four, Chevallo started to penetrate Foley. Apparently content to pile up points with that left hand. Chavalo, who comes to fight all the time, is a little bit frustrated tonight so far. Side camera bringing him close to you. One of Foley's infrequent right hands, another one hits the target. One minute to go in round five. Seconds to go in round five. There's the bell. Zara Foley coming out for round six in the Cleveland Arena wearing white trunks, as you see. 
Cavallo wears the dark trunks. But no knockdown. Nobody's been hurt. the best counter punches around. Cavallo just is a real brawler, but he's coping with a very fine boxer tonight. Man who knows how to tie him up when he does get in close. Good one too by Foley. because this is the first time he's backed up tonight. It was a ripping right. Now Foley is starting to work the body. Perspiration is just pouring off Chevallo. Big right hand there and a big burst by Foley. Chevallo has never been knocked down, let alone knocked out. 15 seconds left in the round. the bell. Next Friday, the fight of the week moves back to Madison Square Garden for a 10-round return match between light heavyweights Greg Peralta and Wayne Thornton. The winner gets a shot of Willie Pastrano's light heavyweight crown. Their first battle in November was one of the year's best, with Peralta taking a close decision. Take a look at some of the action during the fifth round. Peralta, the white trunks, Thornton and black. Their fight next week should be just as good. Don't miss this one as Greg Peralta again meets Wayne Thornton on the fight of the week. Round seven. George Chevallo, black trunk, Dora Foley and white. seven of a ten rounder and if Cavallo is going to pull this one out he had better get going Tony LeBranche is the referee Taking a bit of adhesive tape off the glove of Foley. So 
throw off and uh, Shavala did very hard to the body with Congress punches. to go in round seven. seconds to go on round seven. There's the bell. Coming up to round eight here in the Cleveland Arena. On the left-hand side is George Cervallo of Toronto, Canada, weighing 212. And in the black trunks, Zora Foley of Chandler, Arizona. White trunks weighing 200, Tony LaBranch, the referee. Big time boxing returning to Cleveland, Ohio. Crowd of about 6,000 here. Follow doing a little more jabbing than he did earlier. But no and a quarter left in this round, round eight of a 10-rounder. seconds remain in the round. There's the bell. 
In the semifinal bout tonight, Billy Joyner of Cincinnati, Ohio, defeated unanimously Lou Bailey of Chicago in a heavyweight bout. Rory O'Shea of Minneapolis knocked out Charlie Fell of Buffalo in 149 of the first round in their welterweight bout. In another bout, Jimmy Twyman of Cleveland lost by unanimous decision to Doug again of Steubenville, Ohio in a lightweight four-rounder. This is round nine at the Cleveland Arena. George Chevallo of Toronto, Black Trunks, and Dora Foley of Chandler, Arizona in white. Chevallo fighting more upright now than earlier and forcing the action. Possibly realizing that he now needs a knockout if he wants to win, at least in our unofficial opinion. There have been no knockdowns. Dora Foley's uh, left jab has been the dominating factor of the right, uh, fight, and uh, he has crossed some good right hands as well. Cavallo's best have been body punches. Did that jab get in there? There's power behind it. to go in round nine. While our camera was panning ringside, you might have noticed two lovely ladies, Madeline and Johan, the daughters of the late Steve O'Neill, who was such a great ball player for the Cleveland Indians and their manager for quite a few years. One of baseball's great, Steve O'Neill. as you can see, is one of our best defensive fighters. A hard man to cope with. Cavallo catches up to him, however, with 10 seconds remaining in round nine. Ooh, hard right by Foley. There's the bell. Round 10 at the Cleveland Arena. Referee Tony LeBranch has the battlers touch gloves, the heavyweight. George Chevallo, the black trunks, 212 pounds. Six feet tall from Toronto, Canada. Zora Foley, Chandler, Arizona, the white trunks, 200 pounds. Six feet one. No not knockdowns in the contest, and uh, nobody seems to have been cut. Then two minutes remain in the fight in this tenth and final round.
scoring here in Cleveland, the five-point must system. Five points to the winner of a round, four or less to the loser. Scored by the referee and two judges. I always get a kick when I come out here. The men at the clocks are Lee and Grant, timekeeper Jimmy Lee, KO timer Tommy Grant, and have been for a long time. They're banging heads. They bang them pretty good, too. You can hear it. Thirty seconds left in the fight. seconds there'll be no knockout there's the bell ending the 10 round bout between George Chevallo and Zora Foley we'll have the decision in just a minute now we're waiting for the decision and there you see Dave Ott the uh, chairman of the Cleveland Boxing Commission with the other commissioners, Harrison Dillard and Charles Bethel and Secretary Ollie Downs. And Dave calls Tommy Dwyer, the announcer. The decision is ready in the 10-round bout between Zora Foley and George Chevallo. Here's Tommy. Your attention, please. Judge Charlie Bill scores 49-42 Foley. One vote for Foley. Judge Bill Thompson scores 47-44 Foley. Two Referee Tony LeBrand scores at 50-45 Foley. The winner... 50 to 45 Sarah by the referee. Foley, Sarah Foley is the winner. Foley has now won 66 of his 76 bouts. Very happy man. This keeps him in contention. He once had a bout with Sonny Liston, in which he was KO'd early in the fight, but he would like to fight him again, and who can blame him? We invite you to be at television ringside next Friday night and enjoy the 10-round light heavyweight match between Greg Peralta and Wayne Thornton from Madison Square Garden on the 